What's up guys, Insane Hookah 9 from HookahPro.com. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review of Nakla Apricot. Um, just regular KM, large Egyptian bowl. I didn't overpack today, I decided to do it. This is probably my third or fourth time doing it, and I kind of figured out a way that works perfectly for me. Uh, basically, I get the bowl packet normally, like Hookah D and BTBA Mordecai says. And then HD foil, I tabletop it, pressing it down a little bit to make the shisha flush with the bowl. And um, I poke holes from the bottom with a bamboo, bamboo skewer. <laughs> As uh, BTBA Mordecai says, it works really well getting the heat flow. And then I add some more holes. I'll show you guys in a little bit when I take off the coals and rotate them. But um, it works pretty well. Um, the method I use, it's nice. It doesn't get harsh. It takes a little bit for the shisha to sear because I use all three coals. Set them on there for about 20, 25 seconds or so. Then rotate them, um, flip them over. We all know what to do basically. But uh, I want to show you guys the clouds here for a little bit. Still regular knuckle of mid-sized clouds, but uh, the taste is much better with an overpack than it is with a regular pack, especially for knuckle apricot. I see that when I normally pack it, it doesn't have a ton of flavor, but with the overpack, it really pronounces the apricot, and I love apricot a whole lot. So I, I like it a lot. Um, not a lot of people like knuckle apricot, but it, it's a flavor that does take a little bit getting used to. But um, it, it works pretty well with an overpack. Um, quite surprised this is my first time using an overpack method with apricot. I've done double apple, facafina, um, Rose. Rose was okay. It still wasn't all that great to me. And then a few others here and there. But uh, this has been my review and yeah, just a review of Nakla Apricot Overpack with my normal setup. You guys take care. Bye. Hey guys, I'm sorry I forgot to show you guys the holes and whatnot. Let me take the coals off. See, this is the whole pattern I used. If you can see it. Yeah. Uh, there's the five main holes right here are the ones poked all the way from the bottom to the top. Then all these smaller holes were poked from the top all the way down. Um, it really helps distribute the heat well, um, making sure the whole shisha pack bakes thoroughly and gives you a really strong flavor. But uh, this has been me showing you guys the holes. Sorry, I forgot to show you guys. But uh, take care, everyone.